<laughs> Fuck. Waking up early. Whew. All right, everybody. Good morning. It is now 6.08. This is, as you can tell by the title, a day in the life of a basketball influencer. It's like my first official vlog. I wanted to do this video because not a lot of people have done it. Right now, we're about to get some breakfast because I have a 8 a.m. workout over like an hour away with my trainer. Hope you guys enjoy, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, man, let's get some fucking breakfast because I am starving. I have to leave here no later than 7 a.m. Guys, really quick, I want to show you guys my bag. This is what I used to record. This is the Rode wireless mic. This is the receiver. The mic is right here on my hip. Whenever I'm like far as fuck away, you guys are gonna be able to hear anything and everything that I say. And it's very important and vital that you get this, guys. These are the kicks I use. These are the KD14s. And then I got my basketball. All right, man, we're out the door. Remember, I told you guys we had to leave by seven. All right, it's exactly fucking seven o'clock. I forgot my fucking keys. My dumbass forgot my keys, so we literally would have been out of here by 7 a.m. on the fucking dot. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Make sure you, if you haven't already, smash the like button. And we'll see you guys when we meet Dustin, bro. Let's get it. Dustin, say hi. What up, what up? He's probably one of the worst trainers in the DFW area. Nah, I just hey. forever. <laughs> I just went. Nah, literally, bro, all bullshit aside, how quote unquote good I am and confident is because of him, bro. No bullshit. What are we about to do today? We're gonna work on some ball handling, definitely some shooting, but we're gonna try to do a lot of live drills, yes. playing against each other in small sided games, trying yeah. to make it as game translatable as possible. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, bro, LeBron actually called me the other day. He's tired of Russ, so uh, we're trying to get as much game situation as possible. I'm definitely not gonna put mid ranges over the backboard. <laughs> Or the side of the backboard. We'll put his link down in the description too. He just started his uh, website, right? It's a booking site. The link's also on the Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Instagram's GTG underscore training. Same thing as TikTok. And on Facebook, it's Grind of Greatness. All ages, uh, anywhere from elementary school kids to professionals now. We're going to be advancing forward the whole time. To the free throw line and back. So everything's here. Just low cross, low cross, low cross, low cross. Get to the free throw line. Coming back. Low cross, low cross, low cross. And then the same thing between the legs. Yep, yep. Low, low. Yep. Good, good, good. Back pedaling back with it. There you go, good. Find that rhythm, find that rhythm, find that rhythm. Yep, yep, yep. Now between the legs. Yep. Good base, keep a good base. Perfect, there you go. Yeah, boy. Yes, yeah, sir, there you go, there you go. Add in a dribble in between it, so boom, cross, boom, cross, boom, cross, boom, cross, boom, cross, cross, pound cross, pound cross, there you go. There you go, there you go, good. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 stay with it, stay with it. Pound cross, good, 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 pound between. Pound between, yep, perfect, perfect, work now. Work now, here we go. Yep, everything tight, stay with it. Good, every dribble's gotta be hard. Pound it, pound it, pound it. Put it through the floor, put it through the floor. There you go, love it, love it, love it. I'm stealing this one from Dev in the lab. I really like this drill. It helps with your off arm engagement. So everything you're doing is a crossover. It's kind of standing up a little bit. So we're here, boom, boom. Just kind of walking. I'm gonna be in front of you with the ball. I'll say over or under. Whatever hand doesn't have the ball is either going over my arm or under. Under, 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 over, 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 under, under, over. Good. Last one right here, okay? It's between the legs now. All, all between. Over. There you go. Over. Under. Stay with it. There you go. Under. Under. Over. There you go. Good. Coming back. Under. Under. Over. Nice. Over. Over. Nice. Stay with it. Over. Over. There you go, good. Atta boy. Backing up a little bit to the slot. I'm gonna have you start all in triple threat. Literally, when you get the ball, face the basket. Some dudes will get it and they're just kind of like, looking around, like, yeah, you can look around, but if you face the rim, you can see everything through your peripheral still. You can get some jabs in. You're going off my go. So when I say go, boom, take off. If you go left, it's gotta be a reversal. If you go right, it's gotta be a reversal to the other side. Go. Nice, good. Perfect. Go. Nice. Make sense? Yeah. Yep, go. Good. Boom, boom, yes. Yeah. Go. Nice. 
Good swipe. Good swipe. Ooh. Come on, Jay. Good, good. Go, go. Nice. There you go. Don't stop. Go. Nice. All the way through. Uh. Good. Go. Nice. Good. That's good. That's good. Go. Nice. Uh, uh. There you go. Nice. We'll get your form shooting in and then we'll go into game like shots. Good. Pound it. Pound it. There you go. Pound it. Pop. Up. There you go. Three. Four. Left hand. There it is. One. Get up. Bang. Three. One more. Four, good. Our feet are gonna be in sync, popping right here. Free throw line still. It's here. One, two, cross. Shot. Nice, good. That's one. Ooh. Yep. Perfect. What's that, three, two, or three? Two. Good. Three. Pop, pop, go. Nice. Good, 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 good. Huh. Good. Nice. Pop them, pop them, pop them, go. Nice. Yep. Good, 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 good. There you go. Within this area, don't really care like what kind of dribbles you're doing here. I don't care if you're kind of bent down like you're ready to be in athletic stance. As soon as you see me point, then you're getting out that way. But it doesn't matter what move you use to separate because it's reaction. Nice, nice, I love that. Good, good pace, good pace, two. Good. A little bit quicker on the reaction. Oh, go. Nice, nice. Good, Jordan, good. That's five, stay with it, stay with it. Good move. Yeah, that's six, two more, two more. Boom, go. Nice. A seven. One more. I love that. Good shit, boy. When you play against dudes like MK, they're stronger. We gotta learn how to escape from them, like create separation initially. They want you to be close to them, so that way they can grab you, try to be physical with them. Yeah. I'll kind of be like your primary defender and your secondary defender, but the first shot's a layup, but you're gonna be initiating contact. The second one is gonna be escaping into a shot. Instead of trying to go at him vertically, you gotta get out laterally away from him. Boom run away, and then we're exploding to the rim. I'm gonna be like your secondary defender. You're gonna jump into me and initiate contact. Get away, initiate contact into me. Yeah. See, I'm just gonna, yeah! Escape, go. Oh, nice. Oh. Hey, whoa! I edit that out. <laughs> Escape, good. Good. Good escape. Nice. Beautiful. Yes, there you go, baby, let's go. Good. Play through it, let's go. Go. Nice. Yup. Atta boy. Nice. Yes, Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Nice. Shit. That's a thumbnail right there. That is a thumbnail right there. Go! Nice, good. Good. Go! Nice. Go! Nice! Good, Jordan. Go! Nice. Good, good, good. Good, Jordan. Good, Jordan, that's your best one. That's your best one! That's your best one! Go! Good, Hezzy. Nice. Game time. Good shit, Jordan. All right, man, we just got done with the workout. Thank you again to my boy, Dustin. Dog, I appreciate the workout. What, what do you think? Progression-wise, I'd say in the last two months, it's been actually really good. Yeah. Like, besides the entertaining stuff, I'm zoned in on the skills work. The progression's been awesome. My right hand is poo, like very poo. You guys, like I said, you guys watched the first video up until now. It's gotten better. Yeah, a lot better. I'm about to go home, eat something other than Fruit Loops. We'll catch up with the vlog soon, man. Let's get it, bro. Say hi. Hi.
Three. How old are you? Three. And how old are you next year? Twelve. How much do me and my son look alike? 100% alike. That's my dad. Dad, say what's up. What's up? Say how old you are. I'm 56. How old do you feel? 96. Are you bad at Madden? I'm bad. I whoop his ass every time we play in Madden. Josiah, look. Are you looking at the camera? Everything else <laughs> but the camera. Yeah, be Say hi. Ass. Yes, you're laughing. Yeah, everybody. I just got back from the workout. I'm about to take a shower because I smell like asshole. And I'll pick the vlog up whenever I'm done, man. But um, I'll see y'all shortly, bro. Now, this is the most important part of the day in the life. And I saved it for last for a reason. My methods and my strategies going into posting, whether it be times, hashtags, length of posts, hooks, text on the screen, all of that goes into detail of how well your video gets pushed. And we're gonna transition over into my computer right now. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. All right, so now that we're about to finally edit our video. Now, this is probably the most important part for you guys because I see a lot of people on the internet that kind of struggle with this, man, and it's okay. I promise you I've been there. And the first thing is cutting out the bullshit in your video. Do so you guys see I'm on Final Cut right now, right? With this specific clip right here, this is from my past Men's League Funny Moments video, part six, which if you guys haven't watched it, watch it right now, it'll be going at the top of the screen. Okay, so you guys see this is the beginning of the clip, right? This is the end where I started my first cut. Now, if I drag this out all the way to actually what it fully is, what's after this part right here? So I'm asking him first, yo, do you mind if I interview you real quick? And then he was going to put his broom or whatever away. And I thought that was just bullshit. You know what I mean? Cut all the excess out of your video that is not important. And that wastes any bit of time to making your video straight to the point. Once you start doing that, your watch time will increase. And you know, for upcoming YouTubers like myself, we need to hit that 4,000 hour watch mark to be monetized on YouTube and start making money for the hours that we put into this shit. All right, guys. So this next clip I picked out was when I was messing with the scorekeeper. This is the actual video I'm showing you right now. Pay attention to where it actually starts, right? Now, I actually went and copied this clip, dragged it out further back 10 seconds ago, and this is what was before that. That was 11 seconds before that initial clip started. You know what I mean? So I cut all the excess out. I'm just trying to give you guys the most valid points and make things make sense as much as possible. So it turns out like this. And I also want to note out too, you guys see this video is 15 minutes and 10 seconds long, right? I had about almost two hours worth of footage, bro, that I turned into 15 minutes. All right, the next thing we are going to talk about is text on the screen. For example, if I'm talking to somebody and my cameraman for some reason, God forbid, is not pointing at me, I'm going to put text on the screen. If something that I feel isn't really easy to hear, I'm going to put text on the screen. If it's something that's important that somebody's saying or funny, I'm going to put it on the screen. So for example, when I walked up to this guy showing him that I was wearing a do-rag and I wanted his opinion. You can kind of see he's a little bit far away from me. Obviously, I'm mic'd up. So whatever he says, it's going to be a little bit challenging for you guys as viewers to hear him. So obviously, he said, what's going on, big guy? Now, if I take that off, you probably wouldn't understand what he said. The next thing we're going to talk about is transitions. Whenever a clip is seeming to have its end, what you're going to transition into next. This is the first example of the first transition that I have in this video. And then I got into the next thing. Now, look, if I take this off, to me, I feel like it's just adding too much things onto another. I feel like this separates one clip from another very nicely. I'll show you the transitions that I use. I added a slide effect. You don't have to download these. These automatically come with Final Cut Pro. I'll add it in. I like to keep it at 14 seconds. I think that's a nice time gap to make it look really nice because whenever you do a slide, it'll automatically make it look like that. But I like to put slide push, either make it go left or right. It doesn't really matter, man. It's just your preference just looks way better. Now you guys already know what's next. I literally just talked about it. It's sound effects. Now I take fault in this a lot because I have a tendency of over editing. And for any of you that watched Devonte Frigo, he reacted to my video versus Greg Hell. You guys can go watch it. I'll put the link down in the description. He gave me a very valid point. He was basically saying, this is too much sound effects. And I was like, damn, you know what? He's right. Like even I was getting annoyed listening to it because it was just over and over. So anybody that consistently watches my men's league funny moments series, you guys would know. I love to add sound effects when people miss shot so for example this is the opposing teammate that he shot like over 30. this right here is called cartoon slip you guys can literally go find this on youtube i think it's just another small detail that makes the video more funny and obviously it ties into the title men's league funny moments so if it's funny i'm gonna want to add funny sound effects all right next is a slow motion effect i hit him with this nice cross in or whatever you want to call it, a crossover i don't really know the fucking words but watch this 
you shift off your defender you break someone's ankles or you know you just hit a nice move i love to add this effect because it makes it look cooler than what it is but i'm going to show you guys what it looks like without this pay attention you get your fucking notepads out guys so you're gonna select the clip right right here this thing looks like a little timer you're gonna go to slow i love to do about 50 percent depending on how long the actual clip is so this is what it looks like normal you see how it's kind of like a little blurry to make that slow motion effect very hd you're gonna want to add an optical flow and how you add an optical flow again select the clip go to little timer signal you're gonna go to video quality and optical flow it's going to say somewhere down here that it's analyzing but this is what it looks like with optical flow you see how it kept that clear hd quality and the slow motion effect and didn't look too choppy while it was slow mowing please add that in your videos it looks so freaking good when you make slow-mo effect your audio also gets slowed down so i like to add this like dark voice to it so before this clip would have audio all you have to do to detach audio is right click and then detach but since it's already detached it'll come right below it so i like to add this thing called a pitch shifter and i'm gonna go ahead and add it again just so you guys can see so you're gonna go to installed effects right and then you're gonna type in pitch shifter all you have to do is double click or drag it doesn't really matter and what i love to do and these are the parameters right here you're gonna want to make the mix 90 you're gonna want to make the semitones negative six you're gonna want to make the sense 43 and then you're going to turn on latency compensation. And then this is what you get. You see how it kind of gets like that kind of effect. That was probably the most weirdest sound effect I've ever made myself. But, you know, you guys get the idea. Now, obviously, we just covered slow-mo effect. Now we're going to want to cover fast-forwarding effect. I'm going to play this clip right here because it's such a perfect example. Now, I'm going to go to this and make it normal. This is me walking up the entire time, just wasting time. Nobody wants to watch you walk up the court, guys. For this clip in specific, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the little timer thing again. And literally right below slow is fast. Ideally, I like 8-man. Again, this is all personal preference. When you fast forward it and you turn on the audio, because you don't want it sounding like this. And I add this sound effect called fast forward sound effect. This is what it sounds like. Boom. Bro. It's this, It's perfect perfect editing and once you finish your full video it's completely done editing and you're going to want to make your promo video for your instagram reels your tiktok and we're going to get into that right now let's get it if you don't have a good promotional video to promote your video with then i don't really see how you can translate your followers to go watch your videos now i'm going to show you guys exactly how i would edit one of my videos so first things first we're going to press file new project you can literally name it whatever you want for this sake i'm just going to put it as like men's league ig promo video that way when i export it i'll know now that i have my other project i'll go back into the main one and i'm gonna get every single clip that is a highlighted clip now notice when i say highlighted it means that i think is appealing to an audience aka you the viewer which would want to make you go watch one of my videos now let me exaggerate this the way i do this may be completely different it may be somewhat identical to you what works for me may not always work for you all right so i'm finally done getting all of the clips that i think were top tier in the most funniest out of the 15 minute video and you guys can see right here i have about a little bit over two minutes worth of footage and there's a very strategical thing that you have to follow there's this youtube guru his name is robert benjamin if you're not familiar with him, get familiar with him. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't follow me right now, I'll be going across the screen. I have a reel right now that's going at least like 50, almost 60K in the last three days. I also have another reel that's also about to hit 20 to 25. And then on my TikTok, I have five to six videos with over a million views, tons of videos with 200K, 500K, 300K, 400K, 700K because of this motherfucker right here. He breaks down the algorithm, how many hashtags to use, how long your post should be, every single piece of information regarding your TikTok TikTok clips and your reels are going to be found from this guy. So I finally narrowed it down to 22 seconds. Now what you're going to want to do, because Instagram and TikTok are vertically, what you do is you go to window, project properties, and you're going to go to modify vertical. Well, you're going to change this to 1080 to 19 by 20. And then boom. Now you guys see there's like a bunch of black space on the top and the bottom. That's disgusting. Scale this to 320. This perfectly puts your video in place where it's in entirely in the rectangle i want to emphasize this as well before i even begin editing this your first three seconds of your promotional videos are so freaking important when people keep watching your videos all the way through it gets pushed out more and more and more that's why you guys see on your tiktok the for you page all those videos that have like millions of views it's because people watch those videos a lot or all the way through so you guys see right here i'm going to play this for you and then i'm going to talk oh yeah the first three segments were me and this guy going at it physically. And that's automatically going to hook you in and go, okay, wait, 
I want to see what happens next. Now, this is kind of out of center, right? So what I like to do is I like to click this rectangle, which is the transform button. I just like to drag it a little bit to the left. So that way we're in the center. That looks good about right there. And so the next important thing, which I really want to teach you guys is called positioning and setting frames, like keyframes. What I mean by that is anytime this guy right here or me get out of the frame, you're going to want to add a keyframe. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. We're going to press B which is your blade, and you're gonna select where you wanna cut to the point where you see you first get out of the frame. We're gonna end it right here. And then you're gonna go to your blade tool again, and you're gonna cut right there. So what you do now is you're gonna select the clip, you're gonna go over here to your transform tab, and you're gonna click this little plus button. It means you're adding a keyframe. Boom, so that's where your start is. And to end it, you're gonna go to the end of the clip, you're gonna press the left arrow once. We're still out of the frame, right? So now we're going to click this button right here, which is the transform again. And we're going to scale it all the way over here so it stays in the center. Now watch. See how it stays in the center the entire time. And now look, it goes all the way back. So what you do to get back to that last frame, which you guys see, you have coordinates right here. You have the X and the Y. We're at negative 122.3 for our X. So that's where we're going to want to add the next clip to start. So negative 122.3. Three. And then ta da fucking da. I work back in the center. So that's basically what you guys want to do the entire time. Now, if you don't know what a CTA is or call to action is letting your viewers know what you want them to do now for TikTok in specific is the way videos are getting pushed for upcoming creators are only happening when you get your viewer to follow you after completing your video do not put this at the beginning of your video do not put this in the middle of your video put this at the end of your video and since i'm feeling like extra generous today guys because i'm doing this i want you guys to smash that like button right now hit that subscribe button turn on my post notifications where you get your call to actions is on creatorset.com right here they have literally anything and everything you can think of and because i'm feeling even more generous man and i really genuinely want to help you guys grow and see you guys succeed this is my thumbnail designer right here this is on fiverr.com his name is ak underscore thumb designs this guy has done every single thumbnail since i've started youtube i highly recommend you reach out to him let him know that not so air jordan sent you guys to him that's literally all the information that i have for you guys i genuinely hope i explained everything thoroughly there's a lot of things that i do in my videos that make my videos distinct from other content creators and and ultimately that's what i think in my opinion you need to do in order to succeed in this community this is my first time ever doing these type of videos if you guys enjoyed it at all man or this was any helps you guys please do me a favor and smash that like button leave a comment below if you guys want me to explain anything else if you want to see me make like a part two to this video i've been growing so much this past month and a half man i'm truly blessed i really hope you guys succeed in your journey with your content creating make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video it's dropping wednesday at 3 30 p.m it's been your boy jay i appreciate you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video man we out peace